flip her over and it's very very quick to do Hey everyone, welcome to episode 8 of Project Lean Lifter. This week's, um, it's going to be sort of a little bit of a shorter episode, but just a little bit of an update. Had a bioprint done last week. Bioprint as opposed to the bioscan is when we get the skin fold test done with Jen from Uber Shape Fitness. And that's also reflected in our meal plans. And what we've found is that I've lost, in the two weeks that, since we saw her, I lost 4% body fat. So really, really good result there. So the diet's pretty good. We don't have to tweak it too much. We're just adding a little bit more stuff in just for a little bit of variety, but things were really, really happy with the way it's progressing. Body weight of the week is 135.2, just a slight drop. Um, it's still, it's in the right direction though. Still feeling pretty good about the body. Speed of training, definitely feel a lot faster. Something I haven't been able to do in a long time is a decent plank. So, you know, when you lay down on the elbows, you know, on your feet. And when we plank, just, you know, to work on that core, core strength. And in the past, when I'd get to a minute, that's it, I'd collapse. And if I tried to do any more after that, you know, after about 10, 20 seconds, I'd just collapse again. I couldn't do it. But, yeah, this time around, I managed to do... A couple of planks quite comfortably for a minute each nearly did three one minute planks which is like that's that's a pb for me i think write that one up on the board so that's been a really really big change i've noticed other big changes i've noticed too is my bank accounts yeah looking a lot better i very rarely eat takeout it's all pretty well bulk buy the food we prep it we eat at home and I'm getting really used to that too. I don't really have the cravings, any sugar cravings. I don't sort of walk past, you know, like see burger, oh, I feel like a burger or anything like that. I'm really happy with, with what I'm eating. You know, it's generally meats, vegetables. You know, we have our carbs at night time. And it's really, really clean eating. And my body's adapting to that. Some people at first, you know, when they do this sort of thing, might struggle with, you know, the lack of sugars because they've always been there. But once you get past that, that initial hurdle, it's really not that bad. And I quite enjoy just tucking into you know, a bit of meat and some you know, little quickly fried up some veggies or a bit of salad. It's, it's quite filling and I drink a lot of water which helps keep me full as well. That's another key I think, is to drink plenty of water and you get that full feeling so you're not really craving you know, something to eat as well. Okay, so as the title of this week's episode implies, getting creative, it's getting creative with your food and reusing some of those tools in the kitchen which you had, which you thought you wouldn't need again because you're eating clean. So for a great example here is the waffle maker. So I'm going to show you what you can do with a waffle maker that is really, really healthy and makes a really, really good breakfast. All we need to do this is eggs, cooking spray, seasoning, mixing bowl, fork and obviously the waffle maker. So we have our waffle maker, which is preheated. Give it a quick spray. Mixing bowl here, I've just whisked up two eggs. Throw your favorite seasoning in there. Boom, in it goes. Give it another little bit of a mix. Now for a waffle maker this size, I wouldn't go more than three eggs. I've done this with three. It'll do it too comfortably. So all we do, Pour it in evenly around like so. Close it down. Give it a few moments. Flip her over. And it's very, very quick to do. Bang, it's done. There we go. Eggs cooked in a waffle maker, almost instantly. Okay, so that was done with two eggs. When you cook it with three eggs, it's a little bit fluffy and looks a little bit more like a waffle, but you saw how fast that was, so simple. 
So if you pre have some pre-cooked vegetables, vegetables that are ideally defrosted, already cooked up, you can sort of throw them into the mix as well if you do two eggs, and it makes up a really, really nice omelette, and it is so fast. You saw how quick that was, that was in real time. Tip of the week. Many people, when they see others eating like clean and healthy, for example, you see a lot of bodybuilders you see eating broccoli, chicken, rice, and it looks very bland, it can turn a lot of people off, but it doesn't have to be. So my tip is, make your food interesting, find yourself herbs and spices, try and get some in the larger size containers. We get these from where we get our fresh produce from, so like barbecue sprinkles, all season herb and garlic, chicken seasoning. So get things a little bit bigger, throw that in. Also get yourself something like hot sauce. But yeah, just make your food interesting. And when you run out of these, when these containers empty out, all you do is you can buy like the refill package and go like Coles, you can buy your herbs and spices in packets. Also check out markets, it's a really good place as well. Google, if you want to look up, you know, make your own interesting meat rubs, get the ingredients, put them in a container and bang, you've got something that you really, really enjoy. So tip of the week, make your food interesting, spice it up, invest in a lot, you know, plenty, have plenty of spices in the cupboard so they're easy to get to and you make your food interesting and tasty. So that's another episode done. Thank you for joining me. Things have been going pretty good. Training's going quite strong, so I'm really happy with the way things are progressing. I'm hoping to, hoping the next episode, I'm gonna, we're gonna talk to Jen, I hope. I'm looking to line her up. And we're gonna talk about the Christmas period and ways you can sort of you know, deal with the overeating, you know, just what to do, what sort of plan you can put in place for the, for the Christmas festive period so you don't overindulge too much and you come out still you know, fighting fit, fighting strong. So this is Marty, Big M, saying thank you for watching. If you have anything you want to know, if you have any questions, if you have any suggestions, let me know. Hit me up in the comments section down below. I'll read them, and you know, if it's really good, I'll even give you a shout out in the video as well. So thank you everyone for supporting me. I love making these videos for you. Very passionate about this sort of thing, about sharing my journey, opening up what would you know what I've been doing. Um, very soon too, we're going to have you know, I'm going to show you some sort of progress photos. We're going to see you know where we started at and you know where I am right now, so you can see how much of a difference has been. It's been nearly 15 kilos in total that I've lost since I was at my heaviest peak, and I'm really really happy with my progress, and I'm really thankful for the friends and family and the support and everyone out there who has been behind me. So big thank you. I couldn't do it without everyone. And once again, love you all. Never too old, never too young to live, never too late to get healthy. Start a little bit at a time. You can do it. Join me on this journey, and I will see you in the next episode. Bam!